Bank slips into the restroom unnoticed. He'll need to keep his nerves in check. And stay level-headed for the next phase of the plan with Williams. It's getting close to the 4 p.m. shift change. Williams takes Banks into an empty officer's lounge to wait. I'm sitting there drinking soda. She's standing over by the door to leave, you know, so we're not, we're not with each other in the officer's dining hall. Banks' path to freedom is just steps away. During that time, the sergeant that runs the chow hall, who sees me every day as I'm coming and going, he comes in, sits down about three tables away from me, Banks starts to panic, praying that the sergeant doesn't recognize him. Stomachs in knots, having a hard time breathing. I'm thinking to myself, everything's running through my mind. What happens if he looks up and looks at me and notices me? What are we going to do now? Williams finally sees the other guards making their exit. She signals to Banks for them to head out. The man never looked up from his paperwork. I mean, it was... At that point, I'm starting to feel really good about my chances, even though the hardest part was yet to come. They approach the security checkpoint. That's a high, tense, very nerve-wracking situation. I'm in the middle of people who should be stopping me from doing this. Luckily for Banks, a guard holds the door open for everyone. He'd never seen me a day's life. All he saw was the uniform. As they approach the final checkpoint, Banks notices a fellow inmate looking his way. Take care. Have a good weekend. There was actually two guys out there cleaning the floor. I knew both of them. One of them looked right up at me, and his eyes got real wide, and he got to sweeping the floor real fast. Any type of panic or anything like that, I'd have been dead in the water. And I knew that. Banks keeps his cool as he shows his fake ID badge. Flashed it real quick and put it back in my pocket. Uh. Well, wait, wait, excuse me, can you come back? You could. Come back here for a minute, let me see your badge again. Now, there was a flaw with this ID. And I'm holding my breath, I'm scared to death. What's your first name? Richard. The ID that Lynette made for me, she had to take it to some outside place, but it came out a maroon color instead of a brown. Sorry, I don't recognize you. Can you take off your hat? Yeah, sure. The guard checking people out doesn't know all 500 employees. Uh, can I see your badge one more time? And I placed it right up to her face, counted to five in my head, smiled at her the whole time. And I mean, what else can I do? I can't not show it to her again. All right, sorry to hold you up. Hey, no worries. You take care. You too. And out we strolled. After seven years in prison, Banks is finally free. I believed I was going to die in prison. But the feeling I had of strolling across that parking lot never felt that good in my life. Christmas morning when you're 10 years old and you wake up and you got all the presents on the tree and you open up the presents, that's probably the closest thing I can think of to compare it to. They hit the open road. I'm free! I remember it was warm enough where I could roll the window down. And I got my arm hanging out the window, wind blowing in my face, looking at the cows out on the field as we're driving down the, the, the highway. Just utter euphoric bliss and glee and, I don't know, man, just freedom. Something you really take for granted.